Welcome back everyone. In today's review, I'm going to be discussing Dominator at King's Dominion. Dominator is a B&M floorless coaster which opened at King's Dominion in 2008, but actually was originally at Geauga Lake in Aurora, Ohio from 2000 until the time Geauga Lake closed in 2007. Dominator is a very large floorless coaster, standing at a height of 157 feet, featuring a top speed of 65 miles per hour, five inversions, and 4,210 feet of track. This is the longest floorless coaster, and it's absolutely a massive ride when you're walking into the park you see this immediately and it looks absolutely great very nice looking addition for the front of the park for sure a very nice front gate coaster when it was moved to king's dominion they sort of redid the color scheme and they painted the vertical loop yellow instead of the orange that the rest of the track is so it kind of makes it stand out a little bit it's kind of cool this also has a pretty unique layout for a floorless coaster i feel like going into the ride experience here the gates open, you do a little dip out of the station, and you curve around here to the right. I was so excited to get back on this ride because, like I said, this was at Geauga Lake from 2000 through 2007. And I actually was very fortunate, and I had the opportunity to visit Geauga Lake many times in the 2005 and 2007 seasons. And... I rode Dominator a few times at Geauga Lake, and I was always a huge fan of this ride. At Geauga Lake, I rode it, and it was one of my favorite coasters, and I was just looking forward to getting back on it, seeing if it was as awesome as I remember it being. So let's go through the ride elements here, and then we'll discuss my updated thoughts on Dominator. You go down this pre-drop, and then you dip down to the right, this drop is all right, nothing spectacular. Then you go through this massive vertical loop, 135 foot tall loop. It's absolutely huge and it's awesome. Go through this really quick turn to the right. I love that rapid transition. Then up into a bank turn to the right and then you hit this huge cobra roll. This is actually a pretty good cobra roll right here. Pretty forceful. Now you turn up to the left and you hit the mid course brake run. Now, going off this mid-course brake run, you actually get a decent pop of air, from my experiences. Then you hit the first corkscrew to the left here. Go through a little sharp turn to the left, and then you twist around, go through the second corkscrew. Then you dip up to the left, you go down again, and then you go through this little S-curve section here, and then you go up into the final brake run. I had some really good rides on Dominator. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience on it, and this was a really intense ride, actually. And I was actually graying out a little bit on some parts of it, which really surprised me. I didn't remember it being this intense, but this ride was even better than I remember it being, and a lot more intense than I remember it being from the times I rode it at Geauga Lake. It's been maintained very well. There wasn't really any rattle that I experienced. There was a little bit of head banging on some of the rides I got. That could be a bit painful at times. Specifically, that section of the ride after the mid-course brake run where you have the interlocking corkscrews, it gets pretty rattly there. But as far as the actual track, the track felt really super smooth. And it was a very enjoyable ride experience. I got four rides altogether on Dominator while I was at King's Dominion. And I enjoyed every single one of them. I think there was one ride I got where I experienced quite a bit of headbanging. It was a little uncomfortable. But overall, very intense ride. Very fun. Very smooth. Even a little pop of airtime, you know, like coming off of the mid-course break run, which was nice. One thing I want to note, and this doesn't really have anything to do with the ride specifically, but people, when you go to parks, please, please, please make sure you secure those loose articles. I had a really frustrating experience on Dominator. I went to ride it my second time. Right as I would have been getting on the next train, the ride goes down. The ride operator announces that it's down due to a lost article, and then 
we seen a staff person walking a guest over into a certain area and it looked like they were pointing around looking for something. So please, when you get on these rides, make sure you're secure in those loose articles. It is so frustrating and it's, it's such a big issue now and so prevalent. Please make sure you secure those loose articles because it, there are a lot of people that go to these parks, want to ride these rides, and to have a whole ride go down just for a loose article, it's, it's really frustrating. So make sure you're doing that for the sake of everybody. And sort of to go along with that, just last night I went to Cedar Point and I got on the train on Rougarou and they were just about to dispatch it. Actually they had dispatched the train already. The gate started to open up and then we heard something drop and the ride operator said wait hold up and the gates closed really quick. Somebody in front of me had dropped a phone onto the lower part of the train. So loose articles are definitely a huge concern, as I'm sure most of you probably know. So just really be careful about those loose articles. Secure them in cargo pockets or fanny packs or whatever you need to do. Getting back to uh, Dominator here. Like I said, it's an absolutely fantastic ride. Personally, it's one of my favorite rides at King's Dominion. And for its score... I'm going to give Dominator an 8.5 out of 10. Great, great ride. Out of the 80 coasters I've ridden up to this point, this is one of my favorites. It probably falls in my lower top 20 somewhere. If not, then my top 25 for sure. And if you're going to King's Dominion, definitely don't skip out on this ride. It's pretty easy to get to anyway. It's right at the front of the park, so it's probably going to be one of the first things you're going to want to hit up anyway. It never really had much of a line for the most part. There was one point that I went to go ride this and it had a really long line and I decided not to ride it then and I just went back later and rode it when it didn't have a line. So let me know your thoughts about Dominator in the comments below. Did you get to ride it at Giaga Lake and what did you think about it then? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Facebook at Coaster Daddy and Instagram, Coaster Daddy Official. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.